Okay, this is a Honeywell site, and it's about um, oil re compressor changes, uh, oil refrigeration changes, refrigerant changes in systems. Okay, this is now we're right here with choose the compressor lubricant. Now it says in most instances. Lubricant used with R22 is mineral oil or alkabenzene, which is common. Um, the polyester lubricants are recommended for use with Gentron 407C, polyester oil with 407C by equipment manufacturers. Gentron 422D retrofit of a system with short connecting lines typically will not require an oil change or modification. And that's on top of mineral oil or alkabenzene oil. Honeywell recommends using a miscible lubricant approved by the compressor manufacturer in the case POE is recommended for 422D. So Honeywell recommends POE for 422D. Differences among lubricants make it difficult to assume that they are interchangeable. Uh, check with the compressor manufacturer for the correct viscosity grade. Now the old mineral oil was for medium and small refrigeration and air conditioning equipment, the uh, oil, the mineral oil, was um, Sunoso 3GS, which was 150 viscosity, if I remember correctly, and the Alkabenzene, I believe, is 150 viscosity, and so is the POE oil, 150 viscosity, and viscosity is a lubrication factor, and uh, no matter which oil which oil you have in there the the um, lubricating factor has to be constant uh, in brand of compressor and system being retrofitted if the lubricant is contaminated or acid test indicates high levels of acidity then lubricant change is warranted now the saying that you have to change the oil if you have acid in the system what the acid comes from is the varnish on the motor windings it insul it's the insulation between the copper wires if you look inside of a motor and you see the copper winding in there and you see the amber colored varnish on it if the motor shorts out that varnish burns inside the compressor and it throws off a lot of debris and it turns to an acid if you don't get that acid out of the system within the year the compressor will burn out if you change the put a new compressor on there, and you don't get the acid out of that system, and you, uh, the com the new compressor will burn out within a year. Uh, the way to get the acid out of the system was with uh, EK dryer filters and oil changes. I'll, I've come back and really bad ones, and I've taken the oil out of the compressor and put fresh oil in a couple days later. I let the because the acid it will coat the whole system, the, all the evaporator coils and condenser lines, receiver tanks, and just changing the compressor isn't enough. Put new oil in the compressor isn't enough. It has to circulate, and it, most of that acid debris will end up in the oil charge of the new compressor. So you have to change that. Uh, and there was talk about um, contam contaminating, you know, having separate uh, uh, refrigeration hoses because you don't want to contaminate. Well, you don't contaminate with different oils or or refrigerants. The the contamination is, is the acid. If you have a burnout and you get it in your hoses, that's what you want to clean out. You don't really have to worry about getting alkabenzene out and or POE oil or old mineral oil out. That's There's nothing wrong with that. Um, field, this is important right here look at this here field trials have indicated that adequate oil return can occur this oil return in HFC systems that's 134A 404 um, 407C 407F 422D the HFC retrofits adequate oil can return uh, can occur in HFC retrofit systems when 15% or to 20% of the lubricant operating charge is synthetic oil, POE, or alkabenzene. 15 to 20% on top of the mineral oil. It's 15 to 20% POE on top of mineral oil or alkabenzene oil. 
Systems with, with receivers or high side accumulators, heat pumps, will require a higher ratio of PoE to mineral oil. So it's saying right here, this is Honeywell, saying right here is if you have, if you do a refrigerant retrofit, change over from 22 to 407 C, you can put 15 to 20 percent POE on top of the existing alkabenzene oil or, or mineral oil. It's 15 to 20 percent. And, and in my trials and errors and, and uh, my learning experiences, I found that it's fine. You can change you, you can change uh, the refrigerant and system and just put uh, POE, uh, you know, 15 to 20 percent POE on top of the existing oil. In the you don't have to take the compressor off, change the oil, put it all back together again, braise the lines up, which I've done a million times, not a million times, but a lot over the years, especially with the refrigerant 134As, that whole um, R12 to 134A uh, was a big thing. But I've, uh, I've uh, commonly, I, will, I would cut the lines on a com compressor, uh, unbolt the bolts on the bottom, take the wires off, take the compressor, heavy compressor off, put it on a milk crate, bend it over, drain it out, all the uh, alkabenzene oil out or mineral oil out, and then refill it with POE oil. And it's saying right here that you don't have to do that. You can just literally put 15 to 20 percent of POE on top of mineral oil or alkabenzene oil. And that's what I wanted to bring out. Now I, I'll, I'll down on the bottom I'll put um, the link, the Honeywell link um, to this site here, so you can. You can read. I'm sure there's a lot more about it. You know, there's a lot more. This may may not even be the newest uh, link, but um, this this website is fundamentally talking about retrofitting from 22 to 422D or 407C, which they both work fairly okay. You know, I mean, if you're used to version 22, these are going to be different. It's kind of like if you're used to drinking milk and you try almond milk, it's <laughs> going to be different, you know. But they f they work and they'll get the job done. And it's it's not using you you don't have the um, HCFC anymore. You have a HFC in the system, which is where everything is going. Okay, folks.